We hear so much about how we desperately and immediately need more housing in the Bay Area, specifically affordable housing. It is so important. And tonight, you're going to see exactly what a new home can mean to someone. After years of planning, Vallejo just opened up this. It's a brand new housing development for the homeless. Wilson Walker introduces us to one of its first tenants. Your, today's your first day? Oh, awesome. Welcome, neighbor. A warm hey. greeting from Chantil Posada, now welcoming oh. her new neighbors Come on in. into the building she herself just moved into. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. What a great spot. Oh, yes. It's beautiful. It's big. It's huge. Oh, she and her son, Rex, are now stocking their own apartment after seven years of homelessness. Um, seven years. My son's seven. Oh, thank God. I didn't want to raise him out there. And when she says out there, she means in a trailer that was tucked away within sight of the building she now calls home. That's where we were staying in, right there. And I was so mad they were tearing down these buildings. And now look at it. I'm in the building. Um, it is a modular project. It was actually built on Mare Island, uh, and the units were stacked on site. This room. Samantha Meyer is with Eden Housing, the developer so of Blue Oak anything. Landing. We're really excited to be moving people okay. in. We pair the units with a lot of services, so there are voluntary services for everyone. If they want them, they can work with case managers. We also have a resident service coordinator. So this is a studio. Four years, but Vallejo now has 74 new units of affordable housing in a city with a homeless population thought to be somewhere between five and 700. Yeah, we had about 1,000 people on the wait list uh, within two hours. I mean, I never thought, everybody says I got the mansion. And I'm like, ah. Oh. For those landing apartments, it is a bit like winning the lottery. And for a city like Vallejo, it's already time to start finding more affordable housing. We are. We're just like everybody else, struggling, fighting for the money, fighting for the nonprofit and the partners to help uh, where they can. Everyone spread thin with staffing. As Assistant as City Manager and Jillian and Hayes says the challenge is the waiting list with about a thousand more people in line for the next set of rooms. You've got to keep that pipeline stacked so that you don't lose that momentum. Because if you were to focus on one and it be done, then you're right. It's another two, three, four, five years till the next one. So you've got to constantly be working at every single stage. I just started crying. I just, I, our day was finally there. It's finally here. We could finally get off the streets, huh? Back inside, Chantil says she is still adjusting to the quiet of her new home that she calls a blessing and an opportunity to start a new chapter. When you stop doing bad things, all your blessings come. All your blessings come. This is awesome. So on one hand, this development is something of a model, new affordable right homes with services so on site, but it's also another example of how hard it can be to pull these projects together. There's the land, the construction costs, and then there's the fact that demand simply outmatches the supply. In this respect, Vallejo is like so many communities in California. Even the success stories are long and difficult at a time when people want answers now and on a much larger scale.